Works of art from different African artists are up for auction at the Signature Gallery in Lagos and it was not your everyday kind of auction. Take a look. An unusual sort of auction. No sign of an auctioneer or the anxious crowd hoping to outwit each other when a preferred work of art is raised. Just people having a look around and eyeing their best picks at the Sogo auction at the Signature Gallery in Lagos. It's an auction, actually, whereby we choose some of the uh, uh, great works that uh, these artists have produced in the past year or two or even more and then see how well the people can appreciate and actually, you know, have to acquire. And that's why this title of this outing is Acquire. So it's a whole selection of different artists. Majority of them, they're not like the big names in circulation. Yeah, some have been around. People that we believe are uh, of great strength and caliber. And they need, they, you know, the works needs to be seen. And the best way to do it is through outings like this and proper documentation, whereby there's a catalog to go with this exhibition and some publicity and other things. So that was the whole thing. species have been carefully picked and it features some of the best African modern and contemporary artists. It's not the first time this auction is taking place. This is a third auction. The colors are vibrant. The works are very impressive. Uh, solid colors, serial colors, calm colors. And he's managed to put together a series of works that would attract uh, different tastes. Um, there's a lot of landscape to be seen, portraits uh, by some made by doctors, and generally artists who've been in the business for so many years. Some of them have gone to the best schools in Nigeria. And we have Glover, I think that's the only other um, African art we have that is non-Nigerian. And that bloody Glover is well known internationally. Each work of art has a story, one that needs to be told, and the artists do the honors, while the curators have displayed sculptures that capture icons and traditions to paintings that touch on ancient and modern themes so people can acquire. have a rush of color, depicting the continent as a people who are vibrant and full of life. The inspiration actually came out of um, the normal conversation we have on a daily basis, like we talk about politics, talk about entertainment and all the rest. So I just decided to go a little bit out of the normal thing that people will see in normal, like the head and the hand, right? So I just decided to just impute just the head alone. And with those lines, those lines actually indicate the conversation those uh, people are actually having.
The secondary market in Nigeria is opening up. There might have been a little hitch, but with government officials insisting that the country is getting out of recession, the numbers will probably be looking better for the auction houses in the country. Next week on Art House. The Lagos at 50 Fiesta is still in the air. The popular Ayo masquerade hits the streets of the metropolis and the organizers tell us what to look forward to. The Ayo Ademaru play is a celebration and basically everybody goes out and you know the whole idea is you know we're all dressed in white regalia, we're moving forward, you know what we, what we tie around our lines is what cleans the road, it's a cleansing. For this and more exciting artifacts, do tune in next week. Another professor is the choice for this week. Age sure looks good on Professor Jerry Buhari. That's the show this week. Remember, you can relieve this moment just by going to our YouTube page and hit me online on any of our platform where the conversation continues. I'm Melinda Akinlami. Many thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.